who's to be scammed. This big bad person I am and this bully, that there's still been no evidence from Zach that I'm a bully because I've never really had a lot to do with Zach. My word is good enough, thank you. Um, Zach said to me that Dave Duran was bringing Michelle to the party, the woman that he scammed or supposedly scammed, he wouldn't be coming. So my words to Zach the Brat were, I wouldn't want you to... Because <laughs> it's not like they haven't been talking to her behind the scenes. We need a nuclear weapon. Feel unsafe or uncomfortable, <laughs> I will tell no, Dave Mitchell, Duran we love you, he Mitchell. can't bring anybody to the party. Zach was like, thank you so much, thank you so much. Fast forward, Zach the Brat jumped into a box with Canadian Angie and said he never brought Dave Duran up. I never brought Dave. Dave, I never brought you up. <laughs> he also stated on the live he couldn't remember a phone call. I'm just going to play this now. I'm going to play this now. Dave said he couldn't remember a phone call. Dave's not lying. He couldn't remember the phone call. It was the 26th of March. This is what Dave Duran had to say to me after I asked him if he remembered the phone call. Like, why do other creators need to be brought into it? Like, this is what I don't get. People are missing the issue. Like, they're all I like, just wanted to be left alone. Yeah, I can remember, um, I don't know whatever's going on with you, that's between you and all that, I fucking... I can remember you ringing right. me now, like I said... Um, Even Lucy shouldn't have been dragged into it. You said... I can remember you ringing me now. So Canadian Angie, everybody in that box, Sam, Canadian Angie, are you going to... And this is what I mean. This is why I hardly spoke to anyone behind the scenes because look now, messages get thrown up left, right and centre. That's why I never spoke to anyone. I apologise for calling me a liar. I'll play that again. <laughs> I can remember, um, I don't know whatever's going on with you, that's between you and all that, I fucking... He don't I care! He doesn't you know, care! Like I said, and you said I weren't allowed to bring anybody. Um, and then I moaned at you, didn't I? Because I said, well, Pearl's bringing people, but you was consistent that I wasn't allowed. And you were saying you were going to have a word with Pearl. Um, and make... So Canadian Angie and your people in that box, 4,000 people that ripped me apart and called me a liar. Are you going to apologise now? There we go. Let's have the other bit. So Zach stated, Zach, uh, the most honest person on the app, yeah. stated in front of 4,000 people, no. he never said anything about... I'll say you're watching, they're watching, yeah, they're watching on the burners. ...about watching. Dave Duran to me, he never phoned me. Let me show you a message that I received from Zach the Brat before he went into Canadian Angie's box. Let me flip the screen. Because I'm, I'm, this has kept me off the app. Morning, Millen. This has kept me from off the Zach app. From the Brat. You're going to jump in the box and tell the truth about the party? Coward, I put your mess and bullshit, you fix it. I said, I think she's going, ban her, or I'm not going. And you said, no, no, I'll tell Dave. He's bringing no one. You've done it off your own back. I've said my truth. <laughs> you jumped in. This is me. You gonna jump in the box and tell the truth about the party? Coward. Your mess and your bullshit. You fix it. Hmm? I said I think she's going. Ban her or I'm not going to the party. You said no, no, no. I'll tell Dave. He's bringing no one. You done that off your own back. <laughs> so was it? <laughs> Did you get it? On the phone to me. Why would I have replied? I'll tell Dave he's not bringing anybody to the party. But in front of four thousand people, you said you never mentioned Dave Duran. I didn't. So why would I say to you, I'll tell Dave he's not bringing no one? Because that's your prerogative, not mine. I'm going to go over to Zach the Brat now and call him a liar. Oh, did you hear that? What's that? Like you did in Canadian Angie. And tell the truth about the party. Coward. <coughs> your mess and your bullshit, you fix it. I said, I think she's going. Ban her or I'm not going to the party. You said... No, no, no. I'll tell Dave he's bringing no one. You've done that off your own back.
Oh, I've got restriction. Oh, on Listen. the phone to me? Why would I have replied, I'll tell Dave he's not bringing anybody to the party, but in front of 4,000 people... Because he really wanted me to go to the party, that's why. He was like, I really want you there. I was like, I'm not, I don't want to go. Never mentioned Dave Duran. So why would I say to you, I'll tell Dave he's not bringing no one? Oh, delusive, Suzanne, you're so telling 4, me. 4,000 people going to go over to Zach the Brat now and call him a liar? Which they did. I had a plethora of people come over and troll me. Thank you for that, Luke. Like you did in Canadian Angie's box to rip me apart. I read the comments about me. I lied about a phone call with Dave. <sighs> yeah? I can remember, um, I don't know whatever's going on with you, that's between you and all that. He's already played this for fuck's sake. You me now, like a... Are 4,000 people going to jump over to zap the brain? When you got called out for lying, did I not go live for two and a half hours and play that? So you've lied twice. But are people going to go over and call out your bullshit? Because I, I, I seem to remember when you got called out your when you got called out for your bullshit. Because I remember a statement you made the other day. The statement you made the other day was, "You're not scared to call anybody out. You'll call the whole lot of us out." Absolutely. That's cool. Call people out if they're in the wrong. But when you got called out, when you got called out on your bullshit and manipulations, because oh. I've seen the messages you sent, Michelle. Yeah. When you got called out for your bullshit, you sent images from a year. From a year... It's not that true, ...and that, said you'd have blood on your hands. You did that to silence people. <laughs> so when you got <laughs> called clever, out for they? manipulation, when you got called out for lying... Thank you, you guys. ...you silenced people with pictures from a year before. It was actually not true? four or five months before. There's not... I can't comment. I can have my opinion. My, my opinion is you silence people. That's my opinion. I can't talk because I didn't know Red... I didn't know you, I didn't know Mama Kaz, I didn't know Gracie, yeah? No, they weren't Did, a year didn't... old, they're about four or five months old. I know any of you, I wasn't on TikTok, I was a gifter. But from my point of view, you silence people. Right. As for Evil Queen... No one needs to see anything from me, I don't owe an explanation to anyone. I don't care, like legit. I don't owe an explanation to anyone for anything. I don't need to prove dates. I don't need to prove timings. My word should be good enough. I couldn't give a shit. You're not even worth talking about. You're right. not even worth talking about. <laughs> and the one apology that I've got to make before I go, I'm going to come back. I might come back next week. I might. What, 3.30, that's when I'm coming back. It won't be for a while. It won't be for a week or two. I Can I just say, I, I never said those pictures are recent. The whole point, right, is that I'd been on the phone to Dono in bits saying it's a load of bullshit. The whole thing's been, what's the word, taken out of context is not how it is. Like, the, the two, morning G, the two women in question aren't fucking, they're awful. They're awful, honestly. I, I haven't showed half of what I've got. And... um it was, what was it? It was just basically saying, like, I've not long been out of hospital. I can't cope with this. This is all a load of bullshit, and they know it. And then um, there was all, yeah, no, I bet. And even people remember the life. Oh, no, he's probably lying about that as well. It was for drugs. It was for this. It was that. And I, just, um, what was it? Um, and then she goes, oh, have you got any proof? Have you got any proof? Yeah, no, you're probably fucking lying about that. So I said, there you go. There's the proof. That's what you need to see. Because I haven't got anything else to show them. That's literally it. <laughs> Not to silence them. It was a bullshit story that was my trauma that was brought out and made public information. Not the picture. I'm on about the whole situation. I'm a bunch of spicy women that were pissed off. I cut them off. One That's apology it. I've got to make in front of 6.4 thousand people. Oh, stop going the... on about the fucking numbers for fuck's sake. 4.5, 6.5. Nah, 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 nah. That's all they fucking care about. Bradley Warner. What is this Do pact you know? with Bradley? What is this pact thing? Morning, Jay say the UK's number one. What is this Bradley pact that people keep going on about? Pact. I ain't gonna talk about him. I don't like the geezer. 
Tell people. <laughs> that was last year's news. Zach the Brat about the pack that was made. Listen, so they clutch it, didn't they? Everything they can. Bradley. If Bradley was on the FYP, we weren't allowed to show him. He ain't been on the if FYP in ages, for fuck's sake. Like Bradley wanted to jump in a box. We weren't allowed to tell. We weren't allowed to have Bradley in our boxes. We weren't allowed to have Bradley in our lives. Oh, I love who I want in my life. And Bradley had a story to tell. A story. He had a story to tell. Silenced him. Even the screen recorders, even the screen recorders were getting messages. Lie now, bitch. Lie now. Mm. Anybody that put Bradley Warner on a screen on the FYP got a message from Evil Queen. You can tell, like, they're true character with how aggressive they are. Do you know what I mean? Like, and all this, it just, it's whatever. Stating, remove it now or you won't have my support. And that's who I apologise to, Bradley Warner. We silenced you. You had a story to tell about what happened, about being punched, mm. and we silenced you. And that is who I will apologise to. I will not ap apologise to Zach, because I've done nothing to Zach. It was a toxic relationship. They were both as bad as each other. I will not apologise to EQ because I've done nothing to EQ apart from be, try and be a friend to her. You turned on me for Miss Red because I was friends with Miss Red. And that's all I've got to say. I hope that 4,000 people are going to jump over now and call Zach a liar for lying about bringing Dave Duran up. Dave Duran is innocent in this. Dave Duran did absolutely... So manipulative, isn't he? <laughs> Twisting it, isn't it? Hoping Dave is going to cause drama with me and Dave. Me and Dave sorted our shit out. Me and Dave are absolutely fine. Like, listen, it's so bad. Like, I'm, I'm like, are people seeing this and hearing this? Like, Enough. Eve is a fucking good guy. <laughs> and for the fact that I've always said, don't trust Zach, don't trust him, but I supported him. Ah, see, don't trust him, but you've always supported me. There it is. There it is. There it is. Always said he didn't trust me, yeah, so they've always been on guard. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I said, your show is doing amazing. Told him on the phone two weeks ago, your show is doing amazing. No matter who's in this red here, your show's doing amazing. But you wanted, and you know... Yeah, Lucy didn't deserve to be dragged into it either. Thank you, Sugar Bliss. It, just... It's the silence when they get the big gifts. It's the... Thank you, dear. No, I, I can't. Mm. Do something wrong to you, Zach. I did actually do something very wrong to you. Oh, what did you do? When you went live and I went live, I had more viewers than you. Oh, I don't care about the fucking views. This is their mentality. Are you understanding this? Are you hearing this? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all I did wrong. You were watching me. You were watching me. You came off your lives to watch me, and that is the truth. I'd rather watch paint dry, darling. Listen, simmer down. Simmer your ego down. No, I can't sit there and watch that for fucking two and a half hours. Are you crazy? It's like watching the fucking Antiques Roadshow or Question Time. <laughs> Fucking hell. You can spin it however you want. You've got what you wanted. Red's gone. I've just said the truth. I didn't Red's care if gone. she went or not. I don't care. She's been perfect on the app. I just wanted these lot to leave me the fuck alone behind the scenes and stop with the fucking bullshit reporting and all of that. It's not paranoia, it's facts. I just smelt the bullshit a mile off. No, she hasn't. Have you been perfect on the app, Zach? No, you haven't. Actually, technically, yes, I would say I have. I am just have opinions, you know? Have you been... Well, I haven't been in the papers for fraud. Mm. 
Don't forget about that. I didn't cheat on my boyfriend and send out nudes. Mm -hmm. I didn't get sacked from my job for fiddling the books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has Evil Queen been perfect on the app? Oh, of course she fucking hasn't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have I? Probably not. Miss Red, stop it. Probably no. not. Miss Red in with the Interstellar. Have. Ooh, we support other creators. Canadian Angie, you should not be allowed to hold lives. Why? Because that made me stay off the app. Ruth Radian, Watching hello, 4, darling. 4,000 people put in the chat, liar. You've seen the proof? When I come back to TikTok, there's no alliances for me. There's no alliances. There's no friends. I'll have Jay. I'll have Mother Teresa. I love Dave. So you're coming back to the app with friends, right? There's no alliances. I'm coming back as Luke and Luke on his own. So this shit will never happen again. And that's really all I've got to say. And you can go and spin your narrative for a week. I won't give a fuck because I won't be on the app. I'll still be friends with Chester. Even though he's a fuck up and a moron. And a racist. But, you know, I'm disappointed in a lot of people. I am disappointed in a lot of people on this app. You got what you wanted, Evil Queen. You got what you wanted. You got rid of Miss Red. Zach, you got what you wanted. But don't sit there spinning narratives that you're perfect. Don't ever fucking sit there and spin narratives that you're perfect. Because you're not. You're far from it. You use words like narcissist. Yeah. And you use words gaslight. Yeah. Hey, Siri. What's the definition of a narcissist? Narcissist means a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. Narcissistic thinker world revolves around them preening themselves in front of the mirror. Oh shit, am I a narcissist? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? I only pluck them in the mirror. What are you on about? Hey Siri, what's a gaslighter? <coughs> Gaslighter is the eighth studio album by American country band The Chicks. It was released on the 17th of July, 2020, by Columbia Records. <laughs> hey Siri, what's the definition of a gaslighter? Okay, I've found this on the web for what's the definition of a gaslighter. Check it out. Um, psychological manipulation of a person, usually over... Ooh an extended period of time that causes the victim to question the validity of their own thoughts, perception of reality or memories. And yes, absolutely, I've been gaslit. To confusion, loss of confidence and self-esteem, uncertainty of one's emotional or mental stability and dependency on a perpetrator. It's done slowly, so the victim writes off the event as a one-off or an oddity, which no one actually said on the app that, yes, no, what Zach went through was a load of bullshit last year and not how it was made out to be. They all just stayed silent, said apologies, and gave me whatever they wanted to. That's it. Oh, you don't want... Don't keep talking about Kaz, because, you know, she'll bring up the past, and you don't want that. Your platform's doing very well. You don't want people finding out. And I'm like, finding out what? It was a load of bullshit anyway. That's literally what I had. <laughs> I wonder why you use them words, because I read these messages to these women. Does anybody actually feel sorry for these women? that lent someone money to help them and the hate that these women are receiving. No one's no. receiving hate because no one knew who they were. But obviously they've been talking to them behind the scenes and, you know, rise women. I, honestly, I encourage them. I encourage them. What's wrong with DJ? I will be back and I'll be taking my free 30. I don't know when. But that's what kept me off the app. Is DJ all right? That Canadian Angie's, Canadian Angie's live. You ripped me apart, called me a liar. I never lied about a phone call. Oh, send it to me, Sonny. Zach ringing me. Zach did ring me, and this bollocks about him <coughs> telling me about he'd split up with his partner. I 
Did he get, um, oh God, what's that about? I say on Zach, and then after I've, however you want, you've got what you've done. Give my 330, I don't know when. Hey, and you can go and spin your narrative for a week. I won't give a fuck because I won't be on the app. I'll still be friends with Chester, even though he's a fuck up and a moron. But, you know, I'm dis <laughs> does anybody actually feel sorry for these women? That lent someone money. No, to actually, no, because I'll say it with chest. They're thank you. And the hate that these women are receiving. No, I will be back. I never even said their names. I don't know when, but that's what kept me off the app. The people that Canadian Angie's, Canadian Angie's live. You ripped me apart, called me a liar. I never lied about a phone call. I never lied about Zach ringing me. It's Zach did ring me, and this bollocks about him telling me about he'd split up with his partner. I don't fucking ever remember him saying that. And I certainly wouldn't make a troll account. I presume you have screen recordings, time and date. And that's all <laughs> they literally want like, listen, I don't need receipts. My conscience is good enough for me, you know? Got to say, and I'm going to come back a different person. <laughs> I really am. So just thank you to everybody that supported me anyway. I'll say on Zach and then... Do you not think I've been getting hate for going against the Volturi? I'm still here. Why is everyone leaving? You ain't got to leave, you fucking idiots. Just come on and do your thing. Jesus Christ. Like... <laughs> it's so dramatic. Oh... After I've had my say on Zach, Zach will be blocked from no! my lives, my life. Mm. I want nothing to do with um, a con man manipulator. Oh, he finally got the message. Jesus Christ. Later. A con man manipulator. Again, I've never been in the newspapers for fraud. So let's take it back to Canadian Angie. Right, what's next? Sorry, guys, that you had to... Oh, so dead wings, dead wings, dead wings. So someone put in Diadro's Discord, I tried to get D dead wings to come to box battles. He basically told me to fuck off. <laughs> Just when you thought you couldn't love Dead Wings more. Just when you thought, honestly, I love Dead Wings, man. Oh, Sophie Rose. Can I just say on my live right now? No. Can I just say, why are you asking a question when you're going to say it? Oh, because I've just had loads of messages myself. Um, I did not direct any um, bots to anyone's live. I'm oh, getting... also, actually, there's there's something that I want to bring up. You know, with this whole bots thing, yeah. I've had, um, and my manager's been on it as well. They get removed. But people, there's, what's it? Um, I had someone buying me followers to try and get my account down and um, fake engagement and stuff. Tyrone, I was watching Tyrone yesterday. <laughs> And the moment he started talking about certain things, his shares were going up crazy, like 30,000 shares or something like that. Now, I don't want to point the fingers, but I think when it's only certain accounts that that's been happening to, you know, I was like, hmm. Now, it makes me feel like people do that to report it for fake engagement. Yeah. You know? And eventually, things will probably all come to light and it will make sense for people, you know? Oh, I'm professional, Miss Honey! You know? But the thing is, like, viewers aren't as stupid as people think they are. <laughs>